show you a way to manipulate background i've did uh, a one base on library before i did two base on library so the background manipulation i'll be doing in this picture is going to be uh, about some old uh, old buildings so i'll be using some ancient buildings let me just say ancient building here and um, planning to use a greek mythology before but uh, this is the result of the Greek mythology but I won't be doing that for now I'll be doing that on my next uh, tutorial so let's jump into action firstly we are going to expand the background I don't like the way the background is right now so I'm currently going to I'm going to expand the background so how are we going to do that so for you to expand the background all we need to do is just to click on our C, which is our crop tool. Once you click on it, uh, it's going to bring uh, these four edges over here. So we just have to drag like this until you see fit. And the reason why we are expanding the background, uh, we want much background because we are using a small background while taking the picture. But we want to expand the background and enlarge it more uh, to look fit. Uh, for you to learn how to crop the background, uh, to do the background, to manipulate it, sorry, to blend in the backgrounds like this, uh, you can watch my previous video. Uh, I actually did that there. And how to remove the blemishes on the backdrop also. So this time around, I'm only going to be jumping into importing what I need, uh, which is the overlays. Uh, let me go and turn on the layer I'll be making use of right now. Let me turn it on so you guys can see. Okay, after removing the blemishes from the background, after removing all the blemishes, uh, expanding the background, uh, this is what the backgrounds look like right now. So, for you to know how to do what I did here, you can just watch my previous video. It's very, very explanatory how to remove the background, how to expand the background to this extent, how to remove all the blemishes there. So, it's going to teach you everything you need. So, now let's import the picture we want to make use of as our overlay right now. So, what am I going to do? I will go to my file manager where the picture is located and I'm going to drag it into Photoshop. So, I'm going to go there right now. So I'll search for the overlay I want to use. I'll look for the overlays. I'm planning on using just an overlay right now, just one overlay, but I'll be manipulating the overlay. I'll be using the one overlay twice. So you guys will see how I do it. Okay, this is the overlay I'm planning to be making use of right now. Once I click on it, I'll drag it into Photoshop. Okay, uh, one thing about manipulation you guys need to know right now uh, is how to place the image to fit in. Right now, as you can see, if I'm to place the image like this, you can see already it looks as if she's sitting on air. And that's not what we want. We want it to look more realistic enough uh, that someone that sees the picture wouldn't be able to distinguish uh, if the picture is actually taken from there or it was manipulated. So what are we going to do now? We are going to reduce the picture size and make sure our feet is on the floor and also the stool she's sitting on also will be on the floor. So I'm going to drag over the edges right now. I'm going to drag it. Which I'm using the sizes right now. So I'm going to drag it. And see here you see the boots uh, both the stool and R are both in the floor. Okay, as you can see right now, everything is perfectly fine right now. She's sitting on the floor, and also the two are uh, already there. But firstly, uh, I'm going to duplicate the layer I just brought in now, which is the overlay layer. I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, the below one, I'm going to switch it up. Why the upper layer now? This one right now, I'm going to change the blend mode from normal, I'll change it to soft light. As you can see right now it blended it perfectly you can try to leave it like this which is perfectly all right but i told you guys i'll be making the one overlay twice so how am i going to be using to, how am i going to do that so i'll turn off this layer below which is this as you can see right now so 
so I'm going to resize this control T. I'm going to resize it. I'll resize it. Then I will now rotate it 90 degree clockwise. Rotating it now. I'll drag it to where I want it to be, which is here. The reason why I'm doing it like this uh, is that I want this picture, I want this uh this round edges, I want them to be showing these edges over here, these circular edges, I want the edges to be showing in the picture. So that's the major reason why I'm doing uh, this thing right now. I can decide to leave it the way it is uh, before. So I think I'm done with that for now. I click my OK. You guys will be thinking, oh, what is what is this guy even doing? Because it's looking a little bit odd right now. So what am I going to do now? This is only what I need right now. I need just this. I need this. I need this. So the other areas I don't need. I'm going to create a layer max on my layer right now. I'm going to clean it off using my brush. Pick my brush. I'll make sure the color is on black right now. And create the size. And I clean up the area I don't want it to be. As you can see, I'm cleaning it up. You can see right now. So I'm going to clean up the area I don't want uh, the image to be. Can zoom in to see what you are doing very clear. You can decide to crop it out using uh, an eclipse tool, but using I think using the brush is nice for me because uh, because using the brush is nice for me because. Uh, it's going to feather the picture for me, the area that I want out, it's going to feather it for me. So we're done with uh, what you call it, placing the image right now. So you can see the color is different from this. And the reason is that this first one, as you can see the blend mode is on soft light. While the layer below, the blend mode uh, is on what? Is on normal. And also, the one that is below is the one that's supposed to be at the top. So firstly, I'm going to drag it to the top right now. As you can see right now so i will change the blend mode from normal also i'm so also going to change it to soft light from normal i will change it to soft light as you can see it's blended in perfectly right now but the issue we are still having now the one below is still showing over here so we are going to remove that also how am i going to do that i'll click on this layer below right now i'm also going to create a layer max on it right now click on the layer max then I'll clean up the area I don't want it to be using my black also. I'm going to clean it up as you can see. I'm going to clean it up as you can see right now. Okay, I think we have something nice right now. So that's the first step. We're done with placing the image. As you can see, it fits in perfectly. And also, if you can see, if you see that uh, you do not like the way the image is. Uh, maybe probably uh, it's not showing very well. You want it to, as in, you want the, the overlays to pop out. What are you going to do? You are going to duplicate any one you want to pop out. If you want this, uh, the major image to pop out, which is this one, you just have to click on Ctrl J again. As you can see right now, click on Ctrl J. If it's too much, you come to the opacity over here, you reduce the opacity. Simple as that. So we're done with the first stage right now. The second stage is uh, for you to start color grading. Uh, I'm going to be making use of loot file to color grade it, uh, but firstly, let's start with uh, our selective color. So I'm going to go to my curve adjustment layer over here. I'll go to selective color. So we are going to take the color around a little bit. Uh, in my red, I can decide to reduce the red, but no, I'm going to be increasing the red right now. From there, I'll go. I'll go to my black, I will increase the black a little. I'll increase the black a little. I'll go to my neutral also, I'll increase my black, my neutral also. As you can see, this place is more darker than the entire image. So what are we going to do? We are going to clean up that area. The selective color we are here, I'm going to clean up. We are already now on our layer max over here. We'll just pick our brush. We are already now our brush also. So we are going to just clean it up right now. Make sure it's on black. We're going to clean it up as you can see. 
we are going to pick uh, our lot file we will make it of lot right now so i'm going to go my cover adjustment layer i'll go to color lookup under my color lookup i'll pick andura standard andura standard i'll pick it click on it wait for it to load as you can see but right now it's already making everything dark but what i need the andura standard to do but to create shadow for me on the picture i just i only need it on the background i only need it on my model face so i'll drag it down below maybe within the, uh, the two overlays i made use of as you can see come to off it on off on i'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit so that's that so i can pick another color now to color grade my pictures i'll pick another color look up to add it again just to spice up the work let me use this wedding loot so once i click on it as you can see the color is too more it's too shiny just have to reduce the opacity so it's just a matter of how you can mix with your color you can mess around with your color placing the image comes first but after that the color really matters how the picture is going to look so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also not on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me i'll get back to you as soon as possible one love guys